Hi, I'm Rachel Level with Rachel Level Astrology and today I'm going to be talking about Saturn through the 12 houses. Saturn takes about 29.5 years to orbit the Sun. That's about 2.5 years in each house. Um, Saturn is associated with Kronos and in ancient astrology Saturn is associated with both Aquarius and Capricorn. Saturn represents restriction, obstacles, limitations, oppositions. Um, in the zodiac, Saturn is across from Leo and Cancer, represented by the sun and the moon, and are the luminaries. Um, Saturn is discipline, depression, decay, death. Um, I think I said obstacles and blockages, big time blockages. <laughs> and he is the lord of karma. Saturn is also the timekeeper, and uh, that's what Kronos was, the god of time. Um, he is our greatest teacher. Saturn, I would like to invite you to look at Saturn as a teacher, as opposed to what he gets a bad rap for. Um, his transits tend to be quite difficult, especially on the angles um, and the eighth house, but um, the transits, they do tend to be hard, but I really want to invite you to look at Saturn as one of the greatest teachers that we have, one of the biggest souls evolution that you're going to experience. Saturn, um, Saturn builds brand new foundations. Saturn leaves many gifts at the end um, of his transit, at least from my experience and what I've, from what I've seen. Um, you know, wherever Saturn's transiting, um, whether it be in friendships, money, um, uh, joint finance, or um, higher education, you know, whichever house he's going in, if there are blocks or if there are if there are holes in these situations, in these themes of your life, Saturn comes in and he forces a spotlight on it and he forces you to re restructure these areas of your life. So if he goes into the house of friendships and you have, um, you know, friendships that are no longer serving you, you're probably going to um, see the end to those friendships or and, and, and get new friendships, friendships that, um, that are healthy for you and that um, help you. Uh, same with relationships, same thing. Um, if he goes into the house of finance or joint finance and, and you know, this area needs mad restructuring, by the end of that transit, you're going to be in a completely new place where it comes to finances and joint finance. Um, so I, I really, when I look at Saturn, I look at him like, not just the teacher, not just, and not the favorite teacher, like not the grade two teacher that you go in, he's just like rainbows and butterflies and you know, you, you just love being in his class. It's not that teacher, no, no. He is the college professor that you go in, it's very serious. It's a very serious tone. And you know, there's no goofing around in the class. But when you finish that class, when you leave, you have a brand new understanding that is bulletproof, solid foundation on whatever it is that you are learning from him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through all of the houses and um, this is my first series. I was really drawn to do Saturn. I'm very drawn to Saturn. Um, the biggest changes in my life have come through my Saturn transits. They have been you know, they've restructured me as a person. And, you know, he is the Lord of Karma. And, you know, paying back karma is, um, it, it's not easy, but there's freedom in that. You know, there is so much freedom in, in paying off karma and, and paying our dues and, um, and building solid foundations in all areas of our life. So, you know, I, I find Saturn, or I think of Saturn as a blessing. Um, I'm sure he's not done with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and go through the 12 houses. If you don't know what house Saturn is, you're going to go by your rising sign 
and you can find that on astro-seek.com you can go ahead and find your rising sign and you know if you drop a comment below i can let you know which house uh, saturn is transiting in your chart and uh that's it have a wonderful day All right, so Saturn through the first house. The first house is you. The first house is about your identity. Um, it's known in ancient astrology as the helm. Um, it's life, body, spirit, soul, um, beginnings. It's an angular house, so it can um, bear a little bit more weight. Um, it's the place where Mercury rejoices, the joy of Mercury is in the first house. Uh, let's start, it is a Dharma house, which is lovely. Um, some topics might include body and health, birth, beginnings, first appearances, character, spirituality, vitality, identity, and intelligence. So when Saturn enters the first house, you may, um, you may go about changing your appearance. You may go about changing all of your social media. How people see you in the world is going to be highlighted. Um, you may revise how how you're seen you may want to take a look at um uh your identity and your values and your morals even your belief systems potentially belief systems you fall into the ninth house but this is uh, the how people see you so it does encompass a large area um so yeah you may go about changing your physical appearance you may get in great shape you may lose weight you may um, gain weight, you may, it could go either way, right? Um, you could change your hair color or change your clothing. You may actually um, become, you know, want to dress a little more uh, conservative um, just with Saturn, you know. Um, let's see. It is in, in opposition to your descendant, which is in the seventh house. So there may be a push-pull between you and others. You may feel that. Um, you know, where have you been selling yourself out for others? Where have you been not taking care of yourself because you're taking care of everyone else? This is going to be highlighted. What relationships are, you know, are you putting, um, have you lost yourself to your relationship, your, your marriage or partnership? Have you, you know, given up all of your dreams and your goals and your hobbies and just, um, you know, become kind of unauthentic to who you are. So you may have to look at that. Um, it may be something of you coming back to yourself. I believe Saturn in the first house is bringing us back to our roots and back to us and back to ourselves. That's that's um, what Saturn wants. Um, can be seen as kind of a rebirth of yourself, right? You've gone through the 12th house, which was probably quite dark, probably quite introspective and deep. Um, and now it's like the who am I and coming out and kind of that, that redesign of who you are. Um, health issues may come up. They're only going to come up for you to um, take a look at them. So I have seen this in charts. I've definitely seen this where health issues have come up in the first house. And um, that's why lots of people will get in shape. Lots of people will start really looking after themselves when Saturn um, comes in first house because it'll push you to change. Maybe you'll get on a new diet program. Maybe you'll get on a nice, a, a solid routine and really start looking after you. This is the house of you. Um, yeah, taking care, better care of your physical body. Um, you may like gain strength. You may um, start weightlifting or um, go on a CrossFit or who knows, you know, you may start doing yoga and, and just anything to really, for your physical health to get you in better shape and to become stronger. Um, yeah, your character will be looked at as like, how am I portraying myself to the world? I think you might take potentially a, a look at your Facebook or a look at your Instagram and, and maybe look back, maybe go through and like I said, delete some pictures or maybe, maybe start off something new on there maybe bring your hobbies onto there you love playing music maybe you're playing music on on um 
on your stories, on your Instagram. Maybe you're showing the world who you really are. It's, um, I love this actually, I love it. Um, and being authentic to yourself, right? Um, and are you being authentic to your soul's calling? That question can come up like, am I where I want to be? Am I who I want to be? Um, if I'm not, what can I do to change it? What changes can I make? Uh, what things need to be removed from my life? What things can stay? Um, people, places, or things? Um, yeah, you want to be able to get back to you, you know, to, to really build that. Saturn's here to build that solid foundation for you. Who am I? Um, there could be births, uh, births of new babies, births of new projects, births of new ideas, births of new looks. So it's all about the new, right? Um, so you could welcome a baby in and, or, you know, our family member or somebody close to you, you know, there could be new around you. So at the end of the transit, um, you are going to be a new you, solid, stable in yourself, your physical appearance, who you are in the world, how you're portraying yourself. You're going to be um, authentically you. Um, a rebirth will happen. I think that uh, a lot of people will come out of this transit healthier and stronger. You might gain weight, you might lose weight. Um, nonetheless, you're going to really take a look at who am I? Um, you're going to take a look at your health. You're going to take a look at how people look at you and view you. And at the end, I think that uh, you will come out much happier in yourself and who you are as a person. Thank you.